mlinzi waliokuwa melazwa katika hospitali ya Makadara Mombasa baada ya gesi mbaya kuenea darasani walipokuwa kijitayarisha kufanya mtihani wa kitaifa wa KCP wameruhusiwa kuondoka hospitalini hii ni baada ya kupokea matibabu na kurejea kuandika mtihani wao akizungumza baada ya kuzuru kituo hicho cha mtihani waziri wa elimu Julius Ogamba ameeleza kuwa uchunguzi wa kubaini chanzo cha gesi hiyo unaendelea wanafunzi wametahiniwa na pia vile vile mwanahabari wetu Kevin Mutai anaeleza mengi Maafisa wa Zimamoto County ya Mombasa, maafisa wa DCI, maafisa wa afya na hata polisi kutoka vituo mbalimbali walifika kwa haraka katika shule hii ya wasichana ya Makandi, mtaani Chuda County ya Mombasa. Kisa na maana ni kuokoa watahiniwa 84 wa mtihani wa kitaifa wa KCSC baada ya gesi kuenea shuleni. Wakati huo wa tukio wanafunzi hao walikuwa wakijiandaa kwa mtihani wao wa lugha ya Kiswahili ila tu ili wanazimu walimu kusitisha zoezi hilo kwa muda baada ya wanafunzi wa nane kuzimia watano kati yao wakilazwa katika hospitali ya rufaa ya makadara kwa matibabu five are hospitalized okay. they are now in a stable condition although we had one who was on, on critical condition when we were moving her from from the scene inasemekana wanafunzi hao walizimia baada ya kulemewa na gesi hiyo iliyoenea hadi majumba jirani there is a very strong smell which has affected the whole area not only even the school compound the whole the whole of this vicinity watahiniwa walinusurika walihamishwa hadi shule jirani ya vulana ya makupa kuendelea na mtihani wao the machine it has detected that uh, the amount of gas as as we speak now it has gone low and is no longer poisonous or dangerous to anyone hakuna gas ya shule they are not doing even physics practical today yes so this gas is not emanating from the school it is emanating from i don't know from around maybe the big industry we have industries here kwa sasa uchunguzi unaendelea kubaini chanzo cha gesi hiyo makachero wa DCI wakisaidiana na asasi zingine za kaunti na hata serikali kuu katika kuandama wenye kuhatarisha maisha ya wanafunzi hao once we get to know uh, who is the culprit so definitely we'll take action because the, the authority is here EPRA ourselves police DCI and health kwa sasa shule hiyo itasalia mahame hadi uchunguzi utakapokamilika hukumu majeruhi wakiendelea kupokea matibabu hospitalini tumepata ya kuwa kuna faksi moja ambayo is the main suspect ni faksi ya kutengeza rangi but the students that uh, were taken to the hospital in the morning the five of them were able to do the exams the morning paper in the hospital and they completed and by the afternoon they were better they are back here and the afternoon papers are being undertaken so all of the eight four students are taken care of Kevin Mutai NTV Kariakaunti Mombasa